Hey, what's up guys? Back again with another video. I'm starting a new series here for C++ development. And uh, yeah, hopefully you know what C++ is. It's a very, actually probably the most popular programming language. Um, it's used for making software, for making uh, games, so like game development, stuff like that. It's very uh, popular. But uh, to get started, we need to actually have a program to develop C++ applications with, right? So we're going to do that with something called Visual Studio, which is a... Uh, IDE, an integrated development environment that is special for C++ and C, C Sharp and you know some languages like that. So it's going to be very powerful and it's awesome, okay? So let's just get right into installing it. As of the recording I'm doing right now, the 2019 version is like the pre-release for it just came out, so I'm going to install that version. But if you want to install, you know, the 2017 version, which is, you know, the latest current version, then you can go ahead and install that too. Just install the community version if you don't want to do a free trial for the professional version. So uh, just click community and then it's going to download for you. Uh, just give it a second. So it's going to download for you, but like I said, I'm going to do the 2019 pre-release version because, you know, I want to stay current. Um, but yeah, the 2019 version will officially come out on April 20 on April 2nd, looks like. So yeah, so that's when it will come out for everyone. So I'm just going to click download right here and then it's going to take me to the download page. And I can see that it says community, professional, enterprise. Like I said, community is free. And the professional is also free for 90 days. But that's a whole lot of hassle I don't want to deal with. So I'm going to just do a community version. So it's going to download, download that for me. So we just give that a second. And uh, yeah, so basically we'll just click this, of course, to open up the installer. Um, but yeah, so since, since we're using the, you know, the pre-release the pre version of the 2019 Visual Studio, once the official version comes out, it'll automatically update for me, so there's no problems there. We don't have to re reinstall anything. So if you want to use the pre-release version too, you can do that if you want to, okay? But anyway, um, let's go ahead and let this open here. Okay, so this thing pops up. You just click yes, of course, to allow it to make changes to your system. And now this will pop up also, so we can just click continue. And yeah, so it's going to start downloading everything and then installing it for you. So just give it a second to do that. It's just going to download the installer so we can uh, install the actual application right after that. So it shouldn't take too long, but I'll be right back when it's done. All right, so it's almost done here. As you can see, it's installing now after I downloaded it. And now it's going to get everything ready, and the installer should pop up. All right, so as you can see here, the installer has popped up. So what this is going to do is allow us to choose everything we want to um, install along with the Visual Studio Community 2019 version. So since we're going to be working with C++, you want to click this to install all the things for C, uh, desktop development with C++, obviously we want that, you know? And then also, I mean, if you want to do some other stuff, you can install some other stuff, but that's pretty much all we need just to work with, you know, some C++. If we ever need anything in the future, we'll download that, but these are a bunch of options you'd use if you want to, okay? And then you can choose individual options if you want to, but anyway, so that's all we're going to do. So click development with C++, desktop development with C++, and then click install. And finally, now it's going to install Visual Studio for you. So it's going to take a little bit because it's 1.6 gigabytes. You know, obviously, uh, it depends on your you know download speed, but it's going to have to install everything too at the same time. So give it a couple minutes, and I'll be right back. All right, so it looks like it's done. So it's going to start uh, opening the program once it's finishing up. So after it's done, we're going to test the program out, make sure it works, and then uh, we're done for this episode. And the next episode, we'll be uh, working with our first program, so I can teach you how to make your first program and the basics of C++, and from there, we're going to start coding. All right, so the program is starting up. At this point, you might actually have to restart your computer to make it work, but sometimes you don't um, for some reason, but we should be good to go, so let's just give it a second. All right, so we need to sign into our account. We don't have to, actually. We could say not now, but if you want to, you could sign into your account um, with Microsoft or whatever. Um, so I'm going to do that with my account. This is a really old account, so don't judge. Alright, so it looks like we're good to go. We can create a new project, you know, open other projects that we've worked with in the past. All kinds of cool stuff, okay? So you likely have none here, of course, because if this is your first time working with this, you're not going to have any. But what we're going to do here, just to test it out, we're going to create a new project. And we're going to use, we could, we could make an empty project if we're going to start making a file on our own, but that's going to be next episode. But just for testing purposes, we're going to use a template, which is going to allow us to just make it. It's going to basically load a pre, a pre-made program onto our project so we can test it out or use it. Okay. So just select that and then click next. And now we can give it a name. I'm going to just call it, uh, episode one, episode one project. All right. So let's choose a special spot for our files to be stored. Every time we make a C++ project, let's just make a cool little folder that we can use. So we'll go here. 
then we'll go to uh, let's see development then we're gonna make oh C++ I already have a folder projects and then I'll just set it up here so select folder so inside of there is where we're gonna have our projects okay so that's good so we click create and now it's gonna create the project for us and we should be good to go so yeah as you can see here it loaded the project in we have this file here that's already pre-made for us to use and we see some really interesting stuff here like the include io stream int main std c out hello world so basically um, I'll be teaching you so I'll be teaching you what all this means pretty much next episode but um, just as a simple explanation this is just a simple program that outputs a message to the console saying hello world and that's pretty much it so just to test it out if we want to run this program we can click the play button up here and now it's going to run it for us so it's going to compile everything and then it's going to run it so just give it a couple seconds especially since it's the first time but here we go it opened up the console and then it should output hello world into the console so boom it says hello world and then it closed the program automatically so if you want to close this once we're done we can just click any key and boom that's it so it said hello world and it works perfectly okay so yeah we pretty much know it works now so we can run c++ programs so next episode uh, you know since we've got all this set up we can actually start coding okay so if you have any questions about what we did this episode you know the whole process of setting up visual studio and installing it and all that fun stuff just ask a question in the comment section below i'll be glad to help you and uh, yeah, so if you like this video, leave a like if you want to see more, subscribe, and peace.